Hey y'all, Service Heart Homestead here. So today we are going to do a video inside the house. I'm gonna take you guys into the dining room and show you around. Uh, I don't have everything where it's gonna be eventually, but it's pretty much set up how <laughs> it's gonna be for a little while. So anyways, let's go. Okay, so this is the view coming from the hallway and then there's a door here that goes into the living room uh, and then the kitchen is through here. Um, so this is if you're coming from the hallway and we've got the big table here, um, all the mismatched chairs. I actually found this table on Marketplace and then the two green chairs I found at the antique store that I love. Uh, and then I think the these two chairs that are matching here are from Marketplace, and then the other two, I believe, are from the antique store. Um, and then I just picked this bouquet today. We have some wildflowers growing out there, so I just grabbed some and put them on the table to be nice and pretty. Um, so a friend of mine gave me this piano, and we needed something to block off the fireplace, because the fireplace is right behind here. Uh, but with a one-year-old, <laughs> it's just a little difficult to have a fireplace because she likes to just crawl into things. So we put the piano here for now. Uh, and then this can also serve as, you know, if we have um, guests over or something and we need somewhere to set food, I can move this stuff up here and we can set food on top of it. Uh, but the piano does work. So uh, Nova comes in here and plays it sometimes. I only know one song, so <laughs> I can play one song on there. Um, but anyways, and then we have a little uh, cabinet thing here. I'm sure you've seen this in other videos in different places. I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I just put it right here for now. I'm um, just using it to store things in. Um, and then over here, the, what's it called? The hutch that I had in here, I actually moved to the kitchen because I needed more space in there like cabinet space counter space but we don't have cabinets in the kitchen so um, I moved it in there and then we have this top hutch piece from uh, something that we were using in Nova's room the bottom part we used for a uh, litter box thing so it's not <laughs> being used anymore um, but anyways so this is an entryway table that I've had for a while I just repainted it and then stuck it in here, stuck this on top, and it's just kind of being used as our um, play area right now, silverware bowls, and then I've got our tea stuff set up up here. Um, and then there is space in here. I just don't have anything stored in here right now. Um, I'm still trying to go through things. I'll probably pull things out of the pantry and put in there so that it's not so chaotic in there. Um, and then this picture here is of the Last Supper. And I picked this up at the antique store. It is um, just a huge chunk of wood that's been carved and it is super heavy and it's really, really pretty. Like the details in it and stuff, um, it's just really pretty. It came from somebody in Mexico, I believe is what the signature said. Anyways, so I'm thinking that I'm going to put it up here. Up but I need to move that little nail there. It needs to be moved over a little bit because I don't want to just set it up there um, because I don't want it to fall over. So I'm gonna have to secure it to the wall, but I believe it's gonna go up here. And then um, over here we have my favorite piece that I've ever picked up from the antique store. Um, it's actually a hutch piece that they turned upside down and um, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. But this is our homeschool thing. I won't even open there because it's a mess in there. There's just homeschool books stuffed in there. Um, but the stuff that we use is all out here. So we're doing a thing on mammals right now. So I've got this out here. Um, we homeschool through the summer as well. That way we can take more breaks as we want to through the school year. Um, so that's why we do things through the summer too. Um, we were reading the Little House on the Prairie books. We stopped. I believe I'm going to start back, but I'm not going to make it like a, a whole unit out of it because it gets really overwhelming if you miss chapters. So, because the chapters, some of them are really long. So I think we're just going to kind of leisurely read through it, uh, together. 
uh, me and Nova, because obviously Ainley is too young to do schoolwork right now. Um, she likes the color when we do stuff sometimes, but she also likes to eat the crayons and colored pencils, so <laughs> it doesn't always work out. So these are some reading books that Nova practices with. Um, this I picked up at the antique store. I thought it was really cool, but we've never actually used it. And this is a painting Nova did of a potato plant. And then um, we've got these little, she got this for Christmas. It's got little cards in it for prayers. Um, and this is something that we actually use at Christmas time. And I couldn't find it last year. So when I found it, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it out as decoration <laughs> so we don't misplace it again. Anyways, this is our um, homeschool area. And then I've got our little board up here that kind of tells us what we're doing that month. Um, this is a antique high chair. This is a leg that goes onto the table, but we don't use it because we have the leaf put in um, to make the table bigger. And this antique chair, high chair, I will use once Anley um, doesn't need to be strapped in because this little piece here, whoops, comes all the way over. So I can just push this up to the table and she can use it as a chair that lifts her up high enough to be at the table. But trying to use this as an actual high chair, number one, it doesn't have anything to keep her like tied in. And then um, two, this, this is wood. So, you know, it gets like stuff on it and it's really hard to get it off. So we're not using this right now. Um, let me pick this up but eventually we will. So right now she uses a little chair that we put in the big chair and it straps her in because she likes to move all around when she eats. Um, so anyways, uh, this rug I picked up off Marketplace and it goes perfect in here because I've got a lot of pops of green, uh, like the plates over there. Um, this chandelier we picked up before we moved in and it is absolutely gorgeous, very heavy. Um, and it's just really, really pretty with the jewels and all that stuff. And it's very bright when you turn the light on in here. Um, the ceiling is different in this room compared to the other rooms because Hugo actually hit this room when it came through, I forget what year it came through. Uh, so this house made it through Hugo. <laughs> Um, but it actually, a tree came and hit this room. And so that's why the windows are newer. They're shorter than like the ones in the um, living room because they had to replace those windows. And then um, they never put the beadboard back up on the ceiling. So, you know, we would have done that except the price of wood just became <laughs> crazy. So that's why it still looks like that, but hopefully eventually we'll be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so this is the dining room and this is where we spend most of the time in here or in the kitchen or in the living room. That's where we spend all of our time. And it works out that they just all kind of are connected through. And she's pulled all the wipes out. That's great. So anyways, I hope you guys liked our little dining room tour. Hopefully I can do the kitchen next. Um, I'm still setting stuff up in there to try to get everything put up in a place because we took all the cabinets down when we first moved in here because the kitchen's tiny. So trying to find a place for everything and find something that works that I can stick with. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So thank you guys for coming to check out our dining room. I hope you guys loved it.